Hello everybody, have a good day. I, uh, uh, Tual is one of the small island in Indonesia, from Maluku, Papua, Indonesia. This is where we are. You can look at the, the picture. There are a lot of beautiful beach, beautiful mountain, and you can see this small paradise from Indonesia. Maluku, Papua consists of several islands with several years average volume increase of 9.6% and an average coverage day of 9.6 days. Among them, 12 fuel terminal has the lowest coverage day which is 3.1 day. That's why this paper will explain about increasing coverage day aviation fuel through development of aviation pool modular system in Terminal Tua. Our team consists of several divisions, which is led by me personally, Maulana Ardiansyah, and Widi Satria Nugraha. We have followed this problem with a slow coverage day using this bond diagram with five different aspects, which is environment, method, material, and machine. And the result is, the root cause of this problem is there is no storage tank in Tua. We compare our modular fuel aviation system solution with other alternatives which are extra refueler and ISO tank rental based on the aspect measurement like, like investment, operational cost, reliability, procurement, sustainability, and the capacity. And it's concluded that Modular fuel aviation system is the best solution for increasing coverage days in fuel aviation terminal Tua. The modular fuel aviation system consists of few main critical equipment, notably the pump, filtration system, and the modular tank itself. The pump conforms to API 610 with a 70 kL per hour flow rate with head 65 meters, manufactured with special chemical material properties. EI15 A1 category C type S is followed for filtration. It complete with air emulator, PR free and differential pressure gauge. And the fourth unit of modular tank with a 23 kL capacity each, made of stainless steel, it complies to SME AIC Division 1. And also we completed with BNID itself. The overall modular tank system is designed by considering the fleet properties. After calculating the hydraulic system, the pump's pressure rating is 5 to 6.5 kg cm square. In Pertamina, every innovation has to answer the six predetermined factors quality, cost, delivery, safety, and end user experience. Quality-wise, the aviation terminal has to meet the minimum standard of 23 kL of storage. Critical equipment availability or CEA has to be at least 95%. This means the equipment should be reliable. Seven coverage days has to be fulfilled as a requirement of every aviation terminal. The construction took 30 months from December 2017 to December 2018. This picture shows the, the modular tank system that we constructed in Aviation Fuel Terminal 2 As we can see, there are four storage tanks that have the capacity of 23 kL each, as well as the modular pump and filtration system. After the aviation terminal is fully operational, it is observed that we exceed all the parameters predetermined by Pertamina. The actual coverage day of 22.8 is seat of the requirement of 7 days. The actual capacity is 92 kL, 4 times the minimum requirement of 23 kL. 
The critical equipment has not experienced any major operation difficulties. 100 variable in contrast to 95% of the minimum requirement. Under normal circumstances, the construction of typical aviation terminal costs around 14 billion rupees, or more than 1 million US dollars. The model tank system, however, only costs around 10 billion rupees, or less than 75,000 US dollars. Therefore, the construction cost differences of 4 billion rupees is very much beneficial for the company. Within one decade since the aviation terminal is operational, the dual modular aviation system is projected to handle 29 million liters of aviation fuel in total. If this amount of the fuel was retail through normal aviation terminal, the operational expense would cost 603 rupiah per liter or $4,000 cents. Within the modular tank aviation system, the operational cost is set up at 433 rupiah per liter or 3 US dollar cent. To sum up, by multiplying the amount of the fuel with the operational expense, it can be projected that within the first 10 years, the modular tank efficient system can still save another 355,000 US dollars. Due to the advantages yielded from this modular system and its compatibility to be implemented in the remote area, there are several major projects derived from this innovation. Two notable examples are Samarinda and Barrow Aviation Terminal located in the island of Borneo. The huge impact of this innovation has attracted the attention of the national media and the independent surveyor company even further it's appreciated by complementing the benefit the innovation created. That's all we be. Thanks.